López lo hace siempre bien plantado. ¡Oh! ¡Tremenda mano izquierda! ¡Oh! ¡Aquí es Prami! ¡Mosquer! ¡Volta links en B! Kevin Walter and Abu Habib squared off in a scheduled six-round exhibition bout. But just when both fighters appeared to be feeling each other out in the first round, this happened. Fernando Vargas Jr., son of former world champion Fernando Vargas, took on Colombia's Wilfrido Buelvas in a six-round super welterweight bout. First round, a second round knockout. In the opening round, Vargas floored his opponent with a left hook. Big shot by Fernando Vargas Jr. Beautiful left hand, straight on the chin, and you gotta get... Buelvas came back aggressively in the second round, but Vargas was simply too much for him to handle. Former world champion Joseph Parker faced hard-hitting Canadian boxer Simon Keane for the vacant IBF and WBO Intercontinental heavyweight titles. Parker got off to a good start, but Keane fired back with occasional right hands, which got the attention of the former champion in the early going. However, in round three, a frustrated Keane asked for more punishment and instantly regretted his actions. Right Two-time former cruiserweight world champion Christoph Lodarczyk faced Colombia's Edwin Mosquera in a bout scheduled for eight rounds. <laughs> However, Lodarczyk proved to be too much for the Colombian fighter to handle. Lodarczyk ended the contest with a nice shot barely one minute into the fight. Oh! South African Sivanathi Nachinga made the second defense of his IBF World Light Flyweight title against Mexican Adrian Curiel. With the last of the action before Joe Cord the fight started at a fast pace with Nanchinga going to the body while Curiel responded with combinations of his own. The action continued in round two, but there was no sign of the drama that was to come. Then suddenly, this happened. Tremendous right hand from Edwin Curiel. He timed it as Nonchinga was making his way around the ring and the referee has waved it off long before completing the count. And what a success. A blistering knockout. Roman Fury, brother of heavyweight WBC champion Tyson Fury, squared off against Bradley Davies in his third professional bout. And with a nod Second two to Nathan round. Gorman here, ladies and gentlemen, is Roman Fury. Fury dominated the opening round, fighting behind the jab. Now, now in June. That's okay. He continued to use his size and speed advantages in round two, before ending the fight in the third round with a short left hand. Oh, that's a great left oh. hook. Two, three, what a shot that four, is from Fury Davis. Six, Down on his seven, face almost, he's done eight. well to get up here, but it's over, has to be. What a finish that is! This marked the first knockout victory in Fury's budding career.
Undefeated super lightweight prospect Harlem Eubank faced Timo Schwarzkopf in the toughest test of his career. The new presence. Both fighters went straight to business from the opening round, but it was Schwarzkopf who landed the first significant punch of the fight. However, Eubank scored a knockdown in the third round. And it initially looked like the fight was set for an early finish. But Schwarzkopf got back up and made it until the end of the round. Schwarzkopf fought bravely until the 11th round when Eubank produced a stunning knockout win. Featherweight prospect Omar Trinidad faced Andrew Bentley in a scheduled six-round bout. Omar Trinidad? Heavy hands. However, the undefeated Trinidad proved to be too much for the journeyman to handle. Trinidad floored Bentley twice in the opening round to end the fight early. Hard right hand finds a home wow, for Trinidad. So, so. Step in, step in. Bentley covering up purely defensive, down, 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 down. and that's a wrap. It's all over. Good. You gonna lay in the count, maybe? Three, you gonna count? Four, five. Wow. Uh, corner of Bentley saying, that's it, Omar Trinidad. Good call in the corner. Oh, absolutely. And a nice little dance for Omar Trinidad, getting it done inside the theater. Former world cruiserweight champion Ilunga Makabu squared off against Noel McCallion for the vacant WBC cruiserweight title. Trunks are okay here. Let's touch gloves. Best of luck. Carl King, we are ringside here at the Casino Miami Highlight. McCallion outclassed Makabu from the opening round and floored him in round two. Hands a shot. He's moving away. He doesn't wait on the oh, oh, Two right hands and uh, down goes Makabu. However, Makabu survived the knockdown and made it to the end of the round. Makabu eats another right. But McCallion continued from where he stopped in round three and eventually stopped the fight to claim the vacant title. Shot, That's and it. down goes Makabu again. And Makabu is, this fight is over. Oh. This fight is oh. over. Noel McCallion wow. is the new. Former Super Bantamweight Champion TJ Doheny squared off against Japatli Yamito for the WBO Asia Pacific Super Bantamweight title. The 36-year-old former world champion defied questions about his advancing age as he made short work of the previously undefeated Yamito, stopping him in round one. Undefeated Russian Arslanbek Mahmudov faced former world cruiserweight title challenger Junior Wright for the WBC NABF heavyweight title. Both fighters went toe to toe from the opening bell, but it was Mahmudov who got the better of the exchanges and dropped Wright with a three punch combination. Or an overhand right, so dangerous, and he's a chance from Mahmudov. Inside the first 50 seconds of the opening round, and Wright will do well. To, get to his credit, Wright got back to his feet, but he was no match for the Russian fighter. Two minutes to go in the round. Big right hand again, and referee Steve Gray this time has seen enough. And there's no complaint from Junior Anthony Wright, because Wright cannot complain. He's had that energy taken out. Former world title challenger Liam Williams squared off against Romanian Florin Cardos. However, Williams made short work of Cardos. 
by scoring a sensational knockout barely a minute into the fight. Close that gap down with that jab, and there's that right hand! Great shot, great shot from Williams. And Carlos already with a rather forlorn look to his corner. Mark Bates issuing the count, and that's it. Oh. Well, I talked about knocking some rust off, and he's also knocked Florin Cardos out, so... EBU Super Bantamweight Champion Liam Davies made the second defense of his title against Italian Vincenzo La Femina. Femina, whose chin might be... Davies came out firing from the opening bell, but La Femina held his ground and fought back. Tonight, tonight Liam Davies, and he's improving with every contest, is Davies. Going for it here, big shots already yeah, for landing, Liam Davies. Landing good punches early, landing, landing good. Then, in an entertaining third round, Davies floored La Femina with a big right hand. But the challenger got back to his feet and returned the favor a few moments later. Back, still showing courage in there. Davis, One, look at the down goes two, Davis. Down three, goes Davis. Four, a sucker punch five, from La Femina six, and a standing. After a back-and-forth action in round four, Davies scored another knockdown with the left hook just before the bell. Down he goes again! Two, three, Down he goes again, four, La Femina. Five, Excellent shot six, from Davies. Tremendous left hook from Davies right at the end of the round. Davies stepped on the gas in round five, and with barely 10 seconds to go, the referee was forced in to stop the contest. Shots, and he jumps in to stop it. Fabian Guggenheim dives in to save Vincenzo Lafamina from any further punishment. Yes! And Liam Davis gets the job done in style. Yes, he did indeed. And he did pick his moment very well there, Davis. Again, accurate shots, long range, switches the... Argentine fighters Jonathan Jose Yanez and Alexis Ezequiel Alaniz squared off in a scheduled 10 round bout. Vamos para el primer asalto del combate, señoras y señores. Junto a Cristian Musis. Following a closely fought opening round, the fight took a dramatic turn in round two as Aniz flattened out Aniz with a tremendous knockout punch. Cuidado que esto se acabó. Cuidado que esto se acabó, señores. El knockout del año en el boxeo argentino. Former WBA regular heavyweight champion Trevor Bryan was coming off his first career defeat when he faced Cassius Chaney. Good luck. God bless you. Mark Abrams joined my ringside by the Hall of Famer. From the opening round, Chaney took control of the fight, landing several big shots at will. In round two, a big right uppercut from Chaney sent Brian down for the first time in the fight. Oh, oh right from oh. Chaney. There right it right is. and down he goes. What a shot. What a shot. A counter right. But he narrowly escaped a second knockdown at the end of the round. Lands a big right again. It hurts Brian. Then in round seven, the inevitable happened. Oh, oh. and it down goes Brian, and he is knocked out. A devastated knock. It was a brutal one-punch knockout from Cheney that ended the fight. Oh man, he is out. Woo. He's out. Which of these fights is your favorite knockout? Let us know your answer in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notifications so that you'll be the first to know when we drop a new video.